Hey guys, Nathan at Duck River Honey. It is April 25th and uh, I'm checking a couple swarm traps, refreshing lure. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is we've had cold rainy weather for the last week or so and we're in tulip poplar bloom which is a major nectar flow here in my part of Tennessee. Um, I've seen some black locust uh, start blooming but the ones on my place are not blooming yet. That is another major nectar flow and dutch white clover is starting to pop out in some areas so we're that is a third major nectar flow uh, so all of these things will probably be blooming within the next three to four weeks um, and over the next several days we've got temperatures approaching or exceeding 80 degrees fahrenheit so swarms are going to be moving this week and i'm trying to get around and freshen the lure on my boxes and just make sure everything looks good um, so I can catch as many as I possibly can while they're very, very likely to be swarming. Well, I got to this location and as you can see here, these guys beat me to it. So you can tell the difference in resident bees and scout bees pretty easily. Scout bees look curious. They are investigating the entire box, the entire site. They'll go in and out and in and out and hover around the entrance. These bees aren't doing that at all. They are guarding their entrance. They're hanging around the entrance on the face. And when one leaves, when a forager leaves, it just beelines away. And when a forager comes in, it beelines in, lands and goes inside very noticeable difference in the way they behave. Um, I've also seen a little bit of pollen come in on some of the foragers pollen baskets and that's a telltale sign that, that they've got comb built in here already uh, and they're, they're going to try to raise brood. So if you see pollen going in and they're acting like this, you've got a swarm secured in that box, they're ready to move. So I will come back um, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night, whenever my wife tells me is a convenient time and uh, get these guys and move them to my apiary. Um, really excited about this. I'm, this is a fun time of year. I just love it. Um, just absolutely love catching swarms. It's so exciting checking them this time of year because you just never know if you're gonna have one or not. And it's really, really fun when you do. So guys, that swarm that you saw in the trap, that was last weekend, and uh, it's now a week later. And it's been a pretty good week for bees. Uh, we've had some days in the 70s and even touched 80 once, but then it got cold and a little rainy for two days. The last two days have been very rainy. And today and tomorrow are sunny, fairly calm, and above 70 degrees. And blackberry has just started blooming I've seen some multi-flora rose start blooming all in the last two or three days. That means it's gonna be busy for swarms. And as you can see on this box, I've got a bunch of scouts here. So the previous trap I showed you already had a swarm moved in and you could see that the bees were guarding the entrance and foragers would leave and they would beeline out, they would beeline back in, go straight in the box. Uh, you could tell that pollen was going into the box. There's none of that going on here. Uh, the bees are flying around the entire box. They're going in and out excitedly. They're orienting, they're exploring the entire exterior and interior. Um, and there's no protective um, instinct that I see. These are scout bees. That means there's probably a swarm hanging in a tree somewhere and they are discussing where they want to move to. And 
with the number of scouts that's on this box, it is in strong contention. You don't get this many scouts without them having found it for a while and uh, recruited a lot of new scouts to go investigate. So hopefully I'll have a swarm here today, tomorrow, the day after. Um, I was going to freshen the lure on these if there's no scout activity because the rain would have washed a lot of that off. But with as many as are here, I'm not gonna mess with them. Uh, I don't think I could do anything but hurt my chances by messing with them, so. Anyway, hopefully this is helpful. You can tell the difference in, you know, scout bees and resident bees. Um, I think these are two very clear cases where you can really see the difference.